This lesson is about zeros in the quotient. Now remember, when we do long division, we use the saying, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers, which stands for divide, multiply, subtract, compare, and bring down. So let's get started and try one of these problems. All right, we have the problem 4,510 divided by five. So the first thing I do is I follow my rules, I divide. Five will go into four zero times. So I'm gonna move on and, see, and make this five, how many times five will go into 45. So I'm gonna divide, 45 divided by five is nine. Okay. Nine times five is 45. I'm going to subtract. 45 minus 45 is zero. Compare. Zero is smaller than five, so I'm good there. And then bring down. And now here's where things get a little bit different. We have one. How many times will five go into one? The answer is zero. So I need to write a zero up here at the top, right above my one. Then I just, I keep following my rules here. I multiply, zero times five is zero. Subtract, one minus zero is one. Compare, my one is smaller than my five, so I'm okay. And then I bring down, I'm gonna bring down my zero. Which makes this 10. And then how many times will five go into 10? And the answer is two. This is why it's so important to know your math facts. Two times five equals 10. Then I'm going to subtract. I'm gonna get zero. Compare, zero is smaller than five. There's nothing left to bring down. And I have no remainder. Now, let's look at what would have happened if I wouldn't have put that zero in and I would have just made this 92. We can work this problem in reverse, because remember multiplication and division are inverse operations. So 92 times five, five times two is 10. I'm gonna write down my zero, carry my one. Five times nine is 45, plus one is 46. Now, 460 is not what I have right here. So I know I've gone wrong somewhere. Now let's try what the answer that we got. We got 902. If we take 902 times five, let's see what we get. This is a great way to check your work. Five times two is 10. You're going to write down your zero carry your one, five times zero is zero, plus one is one, and then five times nine is 45. So I get 4,110, 4,510, which is what I have right up here. Let's try another one. All right, we have 3,240 divided by eight. Eight won't go into three, so we move on to our next number. Eight will go into 32 four times. Eight times four is 32. So I'm just following my rules over to the side. 32 minus 32 is zero. I compare, zero is smaller than eight, so I'm okay. I'm going to bring down, bring down my four. Now, how many times will eight go into four? The answer is zero, so I'm gonna write my zero up here. Zero times eight is zero. I'm going to subtract, I get four. Compare, four is smaller than eight. Bring down my zero here. Now eight will go into 45 times. Five times eight is 40. I'm going to subtract, I'm going to end up with zero. Now if I wanted to check my work, I would say 405 times eight. 
8 times 5 is 40. Write down my 0, carry my 4. 8 times 0 is 0, plus 4 is 4. And then 8 times 4 is 32. So I get 3,240. So we match right here and here. So we're good to go. Let's try one more. 1,628 divided by 4. The first thing I do is divide. 4 can't go into 1, so I move on one place. 4 will go into 16 4 times. 4 times 4 is 16. I'm going to subtract. I get 0. Compare. My 0 is smaller than my 4. Bring down my 2. 4 will go into 2. 0 times. So I need to write my 0 right up here. 0 times 4 is 0. Now I subtract. And I get 2. Compare. 2 is smaller than 4. Bring down my 8. Now 4 will go into 28 7 times. 7 times 4 is 28. Subtract. I end up with 0. Now, if I want to check my answer, 407 times 4. 4 times 7 is 28. Write down my 8. Carry my 2. 4 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. And then 4 times 4 is 16. So I end up with 1,000. 628, which is exactly what I have right here.